हेलो रिवन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द आईएनआर नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द विटामिन बी थ्री राइट सो अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट पी वाई क्यू इन अवर एग्जाम सो विटामिन बी थ्री इज ऑल्सो नोन एज नयासिन और निकोटेनिक एसिड सो रिमेंबर विटामिन बी थ्री इज ऑल्सो नोन एज नयासिन और निकोटेनिक एसिड वॉट आर द सोर्सेस ऑफ दिस प्लांट्स meat and fish so you can see animal products are there meat dairy products eggs and fishes and plant products you can see avocados nuts and whole grains which we are seeing here right what are the function of this vitamin b3 so this vitamin b3 they will be functioning as a component of nad and nadp so what is the use of this nad and nadp so nad and nadp they are utilized in the redox reactions and they are also working as a cofactor by dehydrogenases right the very important point about the vitamin b3 is they are derived from tryptophan amino acid remember this is a very very important they are derived from tryptophan amino acid because why i am saying like this because whenever there is a deficiency of the tryptophan there will be deficiency of vitamin b3 you got the point whenever there is a deficiency of the tryptophan vitamin b3 will be also decrease and otherwise when you are going to treat the patient you will add vitamin b3 and you will give the food or diet which is rich in tryptophan so that is why that is why i said these two points are very important <coughs> they are derived from the tryptophan and they are their synthesis will require two important vitamins like vitamin b2 and b6 that is what very important vitamin b2 and vitamin b6 they are also important components so tryptophan vitamin b2 vitamin b6 these are all the important component and they are also used for treatment of dyslipidemia this will decrease the vldl and this will increase the level of hdl right so this is nicotinic acid so if there is a deficiency of the vitamin b3 or niacin so niacin deficiency will be causing which disorder pelagra so this is very important and this image was the pyq in both ams and fmg exam right so pelagra will be caused by pelagra will be caused by niacin deficiency and they are also caused by hartnup disease why hartnup disease because during the hartnup disease you will find there is a decrease right what will be decreased decrease in the tryptophan absorption you remember if tryptophan is reduced niacin will be also reduced right so that is why we are seeing in the hartnup disease because tryptophan absorption is decreased in the hartnup disease second malignant carcinoid syndrome why malignant carcinoid syndrome will be having niacin deficiency why malignant carcinoid syndrome will be having niacin deficiency because in malignant carcinoid syndrome tryptophan is continuously metabolized into serotonin so tryptophan is continuously tryptophan metabolism is increased they are continuously getting converted into serotonin because their conversion into the serotonin level of tryptophan will be decreased because their metabolism is high metabolism is high means their their level will be decreased <coughs> and tryptophan deficiency will be causing pelagra and then we will see the inh when you are giving isoniazid treatment so that will decrease the vitamin b6 as i have told you vitamin b2 vitamin b6 is for the synthesis of niacin so if there is a deficiency that may be causing deficiency of niacin right this pelagra disease is also associated with diet rich in maize or sorghum which is called as jowar why maize and sorghum will be causing this disorder because both of them are poor in niacin remember niacin is also not there and tryptophan is also not there so niacin tryptophan both are decreased that is why this patient will be having the symptom and the most important thing this maize and sorghum is rich in leucine they will be having high amount of the leucine and remember excess amount of the leucine excess amount of the leucine they have a tendency to inhibit tryptophan right so they will be inhibiting tryptophan conversion into niacin so that is why this maize or sorghum is a very very important if they are very rich in the diet they will inhibit the niacin and tryptophan and because of that rich leucine is also there are very high amount of leucine so leucine will inhibit the tryptophan conversion into niacin that will be causing deficiency of you know niacin which will be causing pelagra right so what is pelagra they are associated with three d's diarrhea dementia and dermatitis right so these are famous 3 d's of the pelagra diarrhea dementia and dermatitis how is the dermatitis you can see these are necklace like erythematous lesion 
सो दिस इज कॉल्ड एज कैसल कॉलर और कैसल नेकलेस पैटर्न राइट सो डर्मेटाइटिस इज कैसल कॉलर और कैसल नेकलेस वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज बिकॉज दे विल हैव इरिथिमेटस रैश लाइक अ ब्रॉड कॉलर इन टू द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ सी थ्री सी फोर डर्मेटोम सो रिमेंबर दीज आर सी थ्री एंड सी फोर डर्मेटोम सो सी थ्री सी फोर डर्मेटोम विल बी अफेक्टेड वॉट विल बी द ट्रीटमेंट एज आई सेट यू विल गिव नियासिन एंड अलॉन्ग विद नियासिन यू हैव टू एड ट्रिप्टोफन ऑल्सो राइट एंड वॉट कैन बी द टॉक्सिसिटी इफ यू आर गिविंग हाई लेवल हाई लेवल ऑफ द नियासिन दे विल कॉज फलमिनेंट हेपेटाइटिस ग्लूकोज इंटॉलरेंस हाई लेवल ऑफ यूरिक एसिड एंड इन आईज मैक्यूलर एडिमाज एंड मैक्यूलर सिस्ट so please remember here this is image कैसल collar or necklace erythematous v shape rash in c3 c4 dermatome this is characteristic feature of pellagra so keep revising this topic best wishes for your exams